Well, you guys, if you're getting a blue screen of death with your PC needs to be repaired and you're getting your boot configuration data for your PC is missing or contains errors, then this video is for you. Make sure you unplug any peripherals in your computer before we boot up to a Windows USB flash drive. So you need to create yourself a bootable USB flash drive with Windows on it, and then we're going to attempt to fix this. So push any key to boot to that USB flash drive, and you should see something looking like the Windows setup screen here. Choose your language and then click on Next. Once we click on Next, you want to look for Repair Your Computer. Click on this one right here and it will take you to the next screen. Choose an option. We're going to come down to Troubleshoot here and click on the Troubleshoot uh, tab. So let's go ahead and now go to Command Prompt under Advanced Options here. Once we're in Command Prompt, a little black screen will pop up here. And what we're going to do here is we're going to be doing some commands. Now, I will put them up on the bottom of the screen so you can see them nice and large. But what you do here is you can see we're in X colon backslash sources. If you type BCD edit, and this will list our Windows partition here, and we can see it's under C. Inside this environment, that can change. It can come under a different letter just for this environment. So we're looking for this C drive here. So that's the drive that we're going to be working on because we need to do some repairs on it. So let's go ahead and we're going to come out of here and we're going to type CLS to clear the screen. So we've got a nice clear screen to work with. So let's go CLS. And now we need to change our drive letter to our C drive because we know that's our drive with our windows on it. So C colon and then type DIR. And you can now see that this is our Windows directory. This is exactly where we want to be. So make sure you're in the right area. And once you're inside here, you're going to type in here boot rec space forward slash fix MBR. All one word like this. Push enter and you should see the operation completed successfully. Let's move on to the next one. Boot rec space forward slash fix boot is the next command. Now, sometimes this kicks up a error saying access denied and we need to then do another command you can see mine is saying access is denied so next type boot sect all one word and then space forward slash nt60 space sys and once we've done this we push enter and we should see that operation completed successfully so i'll take it nice and slow so you can see there we go so now we've got that working OK. So now we can try our fix boot again. So let's go ahead and type boot rec space forward slash fix boot one more time. And hopefully this will now go through and we should be able to fix it. So let's go ahead and do that. Push enter. And you should see now the operation completed successfully. So what we need to do from here is we need to move on to the next step, which is going into disk part. So type disk part all one word and push enter and once we've got that this part will open up and we can now start typing out some commands in disk part first one is list disk so list space disk and then push enter and now you can see on this one we have one disk here if you've got multiple disks it will be loads of them look for your windows disk here mine is disk zero so we're going to select disk zero this is to select the correct drive. It's important that you select that right drive here. So make sure you're selecting your Windows drive. Push enter and you should now see disk zero is now selected. Now we need to list all the volumes. So we're going to go list space volume. And this will tell us what volumes are on there. And there we are. We're looking for this FAT32 partition, which is 100 megabytes healthy and it's hidden. And that's the one we're looking for. So we're going to select this drive here. Yours might be in a different volume. So bear that in mind. Mine is volume free. Yours might be a different volume number. And the same will go for your Windows drive number. It might be different. So we're going to go ahead and select a volume free. So what you need to do here is type out the next command, which is select volume free. And this will select that volume for us. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'll take it nice and steady for you. And when, once we've done that, we can push enter. 
and you should now see that the volume has been selected. So let's go ahead and do our next command here. So from here, what we want to do is we want to type out assign letter equals N. Now, if you are using letter N, then choose a different letter. Use a letter that you're not being used on your system. I'm not using letter N, so I'm going to assign it letter N. So let's go ahead and do that. And you should see successfully assign that drive letter or mount point. So we finished with disk part for now. So what we can do is now exit out of disk part. So we need to type exit and this will exit out of disk part and take us back to the normal command prompt. So you can see leaving disk part and now we're back at our C colon backslash command prompt. Change to the end directory, which is what we just did. If yours was a different letter, you need to type a different letter at that stage. Now we're going to do CD space EFI. And then we're going to go CD space Microsoft. And that's what we're going to do next. And push enter. And then we need to do CD space boot. And that will take us into the boot directory. Now you can do this in one go, but I'm going directory by directory here to slow it down for you. Next, what we're going to do here now is type out this next command, which is attrib space bcd space dash h space dash r space dash s. And what we're going to do is press enter. And that's now done. And next, we're going to do the next command here. And this is going to be our ren, which is rename bcd. And we're going to name it bcd32.old. And this is just making it the old version. So you're keeping it. And if you need to revert back, you can uh, revert back. But it's just a, a safety precaution. So we've saved that now. Next, we're going to do boot rec space forward slash rebuild BCD. And this will rebuild our BCD. So let's go ahead and type that command out. And then we can push enter. And uh, once we've done this, you should see it taking a bit of time why it does this for us. So let's just push enter here. And it says, please wait. And there we go. Successfully scanned Windows installations. And total Windows uh, installations is one. So we're going to do A for all and just push enter. And the operation completed successfully. OK, so we've got a couple of more commands to do. So let's do... Uh, the next command and this one's a bit of a lengthy one but it's not too difficult so bcd boot and then space c colon backslash windows and then space forward slash s and then space n colon and then space forward slash f space uefi now if your drive letter was different to n you'll need to change it to the drive letter that you chose for yours when you did it okay so push the enter and you should see boot file successfully created. So now we've completed our task. We can exit out of our command prompt and we can start thinking about boot into Windows. So you can exit, type exit. And then what we can do is boot straight into Windows, remove your flash drive and boot into Windows. Or you can restart the PC and then boot into Windows. So you can see here, continue, exit and continue to Windows. And once you've done this, hopefully you will be able to boot up and your blue screen will be gone and you will be back up and running. If you're still having issues, sometimes you might need to back up your data and start thinking about reinstalling Windows. And you can always back up your data by, you know, booting into a pre-installed environment and dragging your data off that way. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video helps you out and I shall catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.